This video will show how to manipulate and link data in an Excel spreadsheet and use that data in a SOLIDWORKS model. This is very helpful if you have done a lot of calculations within Excel and you want to link them to a SOLIDWORKS model. With your model open, go under Tools and Equations. Switch to the Dimension view, which is the middle icon in the upper left of the Equations window. Rename the dimensions to be changed so that they are easily identifiable. This can also be done when dimensioning the model by changing the dimension name in the Property Manager. Create a new design table by going under Insert, Tables, and then Design Table. With Auto Create selected, click the green check mark. Select all dimensions in the Dimensions window that appears. This table allows you to perform calculations like a normal Excel sheet. To link the values in SOLIDWORKS, click in the Graphics window to close the design table. Right-click the design table in the Configuration Manager and select Open in a new window. This makes working between the two documents easier. Open the existing spreadsheet that has your data and equations already in it. The one shown is a simple example, but more complex sets of data can be used. In the SOLIDWORKS design table, select one of the cells. In this case, we will use the total length. Type the equal sign, then switch to the Excel sheet with the calculations in it. Select the cell with the total length in it. Now press the Enter key. This will have linked the two spreadsheets. Repeat the same procedure for the other dimensions and close the Excel sheet. To make any changes to this model, first edit the calculations spreadsheet and change the values. Then edit the design table within SOLIDWORKS. Nothing needs to be changed, it only has to be opened so that the values can update. Close the design table and the model will update. Another option for dealing with Excel calculations is to first follow the same procedure explained earlier by renaming the dimensions. Then highlight all of the rows in the entire calculations worksheet, right click and select copy. In the design table, right click on one of the row numbers, select Insert copied cells, making sure to skip a few lines after the end of the last configuration. By skipping a few rows, SOLIDWORKS does not register those inserted cells as new configurations. From here, click a dimension in the default configuration row, press the equal sign, and then select the cell that corresponds to this value in the newly pasted cells. All that is necessary to update the model is to edit the design table and change the input values. The table can then be closed by either exiting the Excel sheet if opened in a new window or by selecting the green check mark in the upper right of the window if viewed in SOLIDWORKS. A helpful tip is to color code the cells that are input values in the final results. Make a small key specifying what each color represents. This will allow other users to know what values to edit in the table. Please note that if you are using any absolute references in your calculation spreadsheet, it is necessary to use the first procedure described or remove them before copying and pasting them into the design table. The reason is because when you paste the cells in the design table, it will not transfer the desired reference and you'll be referencing the wrong cells. An easy way to remove these absolute references is by first pressing Ctrl F. Go into the Replace tab, enter in the dollar sign under Find, and then leave the Replace with blank. Next, click Replace All. This will go through the entire worksheet and remove the absolute references. It is also a good idea to save this as a new file before removing these so that you can retain your original document. I hope that this was helpful in showing how to use Excel in your SOLIDWORKS models.